check this out. We have a very simple folder which contains four files. The one file is dog.png, we have a kitty.png, we have the readme.txt as well as the runner.bat. Now, we all know that this file can be malicious, but for the sake of this video, we're going to be going one at a time. So firstly, there is a kitty.png or JPEG. So we can open that file and you can see that this is actually just a cute little kitty. Uh, we can close that. We have the dog.png, which if we open, uh, it says looks like we don't support this type of format. So it seems like this is corrupted. Uh, we have runner.bat as well as the readme.txt. Let's take a look at what readme does has to say. The dog image sometimes is corrupt. To see it, you can use runner.bat, which will fix the issues. Okay, but you know what? I'm smart. This could be malware. So therefore, I'm going to be using VirusTotal to scan it to see if it actually is malware. So choose file. There we go. Runner.bat. Uh, okay, it has completed. And seems like this file is safe to run. There is nothing malicious going on there, and it should definitely be good to go. Right. Well, let me, let me just run it. So runner.bat, let's open it, um, boom. What? We see a calculator open. Well, that is definitely not predicted. Well, see, instead of a calculator, imagine if malware just ran. But you're thinking, well, the virus total would have probably detected that malware. Well, not entirely. Actually, it wouldn't, it wouldn't detect it at all. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how this complex method works and how you should avoid it and what you should do if you feel like you've been infected with it. And maybe, just maybe, if you want to learn hacking, become very good at bug bounty, then check out my hacking course. Link is in the description box below, as well as my platform Avenue, which is there to help you, you know, get better at your organization when you're doing bug bounty. You know, it's just worth checking it out. Link is in the description for both of these. I know what you're thinking. What even is this in this runner bat? Well, I think we, this can be analyzed here through virus total, but we don't know. And it has to be ran through the sandbox. But of course, we're going to be open that in the none other than Visual Studio Code. Boom, there it is. And this is what actually is containing in the runner.bat. It just says echo decrypting and it calls the dog image. It basically just says and dog. Now, if you don't know what bat files are, these files can contain commands which can be executed from the command line. For example, once you run this file, as you can see, it even tells you that this is a Windows batch file. So once you open anything here, uh, it can contain commands and they will be executed on your computer. It's similar to a, an exe file, except that exe works with uh, assembly instructions and all of that stuff. It's really complex stuff, but this is more simpler stuff. You can just literally put commands in and it, they will get executed. So where in here do we call the calculator? We only call the dog PNG. Uh, let me let me actually show you that. So let me, let's go right click, open in terminal, uh, and let's essentially just say dog dot PNG. Let's run it. Uh, okay, it opens up an image. So how and why is this opening up a calculator, aka executing shell code? Something. Something is amiss. Something is happening here that is malicious and we need to investigate it. Well, let me actually show you a little trick. There is a big difference between CMD and PowerShell. CMD on its own is okay, but let me show you something. If you call this image or dog the PNG from the PowerShell, it will, as seen, open up just the image and try to open it and load it. However, if you open this dog PNG, like dog PNG from the command line, uh, this happens. We see calculator. But why? Why would the PNG work differently on these two seemingly same programs like PowerShell and command line? Well, there is a there is some context behind it. Let me show you the image.cpp file firstly. This is a C++ file, which is just basically vibe coded, and it calls the shell execute A, and it opens up the calc.exe. And what I've done is I compile this into an exe program. So if I go over here to dog.png, and if I just right click on it, rename this PNG into the, hold on a second, exe. Yes, uh, and run it. You can see that this is just a regular exe program. Uh, however, if I right click on it and then go to rename this to the PNG or JPEG or whatever, but for this case, PNG, it now behaves like an image. Similar, it's very simple stuff. 
So this is why the edge cases on Windows are very complex and very scary at times, because uh, I have to tell you, oh, Photos EXE stopped working. Maybe we found a bigger problem here, but I have to investigate that. But this just basically proves that people will see a bat file, like not really tech savvy people, but everybody nowadays is just careful and they have to examine everything. And they will see the runner.bat file and assume that it's the only file that can contain viruses. Like why would an image contain a virus? Well, it can contain payload, which is loaded by this virus, but it's not going to be detected by virus total. So What's also scary is that this dog.png doesn't even have to be a dog PNG. It can just be dog.lnk, which uh, just becomes this little shortcut thing. And you don't know even which, what even is this? You don't know. And can we actually scan dog? I don't know. Can we actually even run it? That's interesting. So can we just put here L and save that? Let's see if runner.bat actually will try to open that file. It will, but... Can we scan the dog.lnk uh, to see if it has actually viruses? Well, let's see. So can we actually select that file? Okay, there we go. Ooh, 13 out of 72. There you go. So it's actually not hard to just basically scan every single file, but you have to kind of, even if it's just like, if it's like just like this, then, then, you know, it's a problem. Even if it's an image, scan it, brother. It's better to scan it than, you know, just to head, hold your head later on. Thank you so much for watching this little quick little video to you for you make sure to subscribe you know we're trying to hit 40,000, and you know then i'll start using my face more often in videos stay safe stay responsible use this knowledge to your good spread awareness about these issues and yeah as always peace